Hi, Flick here for the Nerd Soapbox, and today we're at Pasadena Robo Toy Fest, and I'm with a fantastic artist. I'm with Jamie Sullivan. Hi, Jamie. Hi. Hi, it's Ooh, nice to meet you. That's uh, stronger than I thought. <laughs> very good grip. Thank very you. Good thank grip. you. So, Jamie, I've admired your artwork from afar. I've seen you at several cons here, and uh, matter of fact, I really like your uh, what is it? Uh, that big large banner you've got behind you there—that's fantastic. Oh yeah, Robotech. Uh, that is uh, that is a print I did for WonderCon, exclusive for WonderCon. But now I am uh, officially doing the art for Toy Nami, and I'll have the uh, the first piece of art for Toy Nami um, out at San Diego Comic Con this year. Wow, that is that's one beautiful banner. Thank you, I appreciate yeah. that. And you, you're doing GI Joe too. I Tell do. me about that. I do the uh, the incentive, the retailer incentive covers for GI Joe now. All right. Um, the run I'm doing currently is issue 256 through 260 for okay. IDW, and it's a lot of fun. Uh, I've been a huge GI Joe fan since I was a little kid. If you were told my 10 year old self that I would be doing GI Joe when I was an adult for a living, I <laughs> no way, There's no way. Oh, do you have a favorite GI Joe character? I do actually. Draw, maybe, or, uh, not yeah. drawing. They're all kind. Of, it's all kind of the same. All right. You know, they all have different uniforms. They're all fun to draw. Uh, my favorite character though, as a kid was Flash, uh, the laser rifle oh. trooper. Okay. When I was uh, when I was a kid in 1984, so I was or 1982. Excuse right. me. J. Yeah, Joe fans are gonna be pissed. That I said 1984. <laughs> That's Transformers. Uh, uh, 1982. I was nine, nine years old. So yeah, it was a big deal to me. Okay, so these uh, G.I. Joe covers, mm -hmm. they're fantastic. I've seen your covers. Thank you. And um, tell me, who, okay, do they give you the idea or do you come up with the idea? Uh, I come up with the idea. They just give me a general, like, direction they want to go. All right. So this run of covers I'm doing, he wanted it to be based on kids' play patterns from when we were children back in the early 80s. Okay. So. Tearing arms off and stuff. Yeah, well. <laughs> How the vehicles, like, he, they wanted the vehicles and they wanted them to be representative of the toys. All right. So I picture, like, how I played with them and the positions I put them in and the, the attack runs and stuff. And then you take the kids away and what you're left is with the vehicles and stuff. And I, that's, I draw what's in my head All right. when it comes to that. So. Could you, you're working on one now. The, um, the, you're waiting for the colors to come back. But the one before yes. that, though, the one with the, the like four, there are four planes that are at different levels. Oh yeah, the yeah. Night Ravens. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That was uh, that was a lot of fun. That one is so cool. <laughs> oh my god, I really like that. My colorist didn't. <laughs> he what? Was, a... He was not a fan because the the background, you know, is so when you're looking at it, you're looking at it from above. It's about right, yeah. forty thousand feet, and so when you're you're seeing the background is the Earth below. And I just drew a, a few squiggly lines, and I told, <laughs> I told my colorist, I'm like, I, so this is what I want it to look like. And so, just from those lines, he digitally painted basically the earth and little little tiny buildings and rivers and stuff like that. And when I got back, he said, "Don't ever do that again." <laughs> so now my backgrounds are much more detailed, and so it makes it easier for him, so he doesn't have to come up with all of it himself. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, just who's not, but he's he's amazing. He's right, an amazing right. guy. So, say for that cover, do you have, uh, all right, do you have the toys you go off of, or uh, what do you use for reference? Yeah, and I, how much I, research I, goes into that? I actually use the toys, but the, the way you got to remember with the toys is when they came out, a lot of them are really small. Like the right. one I'm working on right now is has his tanks in it, and the his tanks are, you know, only so big, and then when you you put the figures next to him and you draw that it looks really tiny and so you want it to be menacing so the toy's got to be bigger and then the characters have to be smaller so the his right. tank looks much larger it looks exactly like the toy but it's much bigger in real life different scale different scale so the 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 uh, the angles and the perception and the depth and everything is a little skewed like the pterodrome in, in the piece I just did, yeah, yeah. you know, I had to change some stuff on it and make it look larger than it really is. <laughs> like I had to take out the seats and put the make the dome bigger and stuff. It still looks exactly like the toy, except for some of the proportions are skewed right. to make it look more menacing. What's your favorite toy? 
My favorite G.I. Joe toy or my favorite yes. toy in F general? Favorite G.I. Joe toy first. Uh, my favorite G.I. Joe toy was the Vamp, the Jeep, oh. growing up. Something simple. I played with that thing everywhere. <laughs> like, when that came out, that was the toy that went with me. Like, it was, it was cool. It was a yeah, Jeep, yeah. and the driver was awesome, and you could fit another figure in it. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, that was that was my favorite toy growing up. My favorite toy of all? Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, gosh. The one I loved the most growing up was I had a um, Transformer. It was a cop car. It was Prowl. Oh. That I that that stayed with me for a long time, for okay. a long, long time. Mine were uh, mine were my Mago uh, Planet of the Apes dolls. Oh yeah, <laughs> those are action figures. I had I had I had uh, Mego stuff too. I had um, a couple of Star Trek figures from them, but oh, I yeah. I was I was born at the exact right time, the perfect storm. I was born in '73, right. so when the Toys rolled out for Star Wars in '78. I was five years old, so I remember walking into J.C. Penney with my with my mom, and I got R2D2 and a diecast Tie Fighter. <laughs> wow. Those were the first two Star Wars toys I had, and I have a, uh, somewhat of a photographic memory. I can tell you, like e where I got every Star Wars toy I had, and who I was with, and what store, <laughs> and I can tell you what year. And it's really funny if you talk to my wife. I base everything around the movies: '77, '80, and '83. So, like, I can tell you, like, when something happened, like, oh, okay, that was two years after Return of the Jedi. So, <laughs> I knew that was 1985. So, I get, that's how I remember things, is when the Star Wars movies came out. Jamie, you're yeah. a big nerd. I'm a super I love big it. nerd. I, I super I big totally nerd. love it. Yeah. <laughs> well, okay, I, really serious question, okay? Sure. When's our play date with G.I. Joe toys? When am I coming over to play with your G.I. Joe toys? When it, you don't have to you be want. there. I just want to come over and play with your G.I. Joe toys. Believe it or not, I don't have that much loose stuff. Well, the, a lot of the stuff that I do have is in boxes. Not anymore. After uh, I get over, yeah. I'm going to come yeah. over and uh, open them all up. And uh, But I, I do have a lot of friends that have uh, giant loose collections that are very, very helpful. and and like if We'll get those I, names and addresses later. <laughs> sure. <laughs> but they're very helpful. He said, sure, you heard it, right? They're very helpful in getting angles if, like, you know, I need to see the underside of something if I'm doing a particular angle. And, you know, I don't, I don't have that. So, that's good. What are you working on now? Um, when I get home tonight, I'm finishing up a cover. Right. And then for, uh, for G.I. Joe, I'm finishing okay. up the cover for 258. And then um, tomorrow, I have to wrap up the details on pre approval for. A Robotech piece for San Diego. Come, come. All right. All right. Are you on uh, social media? I am. I'm on Facebook, uh, Twitter, and Instagram. I couldn't tell you what my Facebook. I couldn't tell you what my Instagram, and Twitter are because it's my wife that posts on there. But Facebook, it's uh, Art of Jamie Sullivan or Jamie Sullivan Illustration. I can get a card. Yeah. I am ill prepared. Well, let's see. Uh, Facebook is Jamie Sullivan Illustration. Twitter, Twitter is JSI and Design. Okay. And Instagram is Jamie Sullivan Illustration. All right. That was easy to remember. <laughs> I didn't remember. It. I didn't remember. I can barely read it too. I don't have my glasses on. We'll, we'll put that in the art. We'll put that in the article. That your goes glasses, in the video. Your glasses kind of look like mine. They really? Yeah. Yeah. I'm blind as a bat. Who said that? Is that I'm blind as a bat? No, no, I, I, I can't see you. It was a joke. Uh, yeah. yeah. I'll explain it later when uh, we go uh, off uh, the air. Uh. <laughs> All right. Jeez, Jimmy. <laughs> Thanks for talking to us. Absolutely. Oh, the grip. Oh, sorry. Awful. <laughs> so strong. So strong. Yeah. All right. This was Flick at the uh, Pasadena Robo Toy Fest. Yes. And uh, let's see who else we get to talk to. Lots of people here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So about that uh, play date there with the toys. We'll work on it. I promise. Right. I promise. I'm going to hold you to it. Definitely. Okay. All right.